All right, so free fall. Um, what we know is that the th all things fall because of gravity. Now, there is an equation that we are going to learn when we do gravity, the universal gravitational law, that says that the acceleration due to gravity on a planet, it depends on a big number G, which actually it's very small now that 6 times 67 times 10 to the negative 11. It's big, it's long, but it's not big, it's very small. 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. Uh, so it depends on this number, it depends on the mass of the planet and the distance from the center of this planet squared. Okay, so this gives us the acceleration the objects have when they fall close to a planet, like close to a planet. So using the, let's say that we are close to the surface of the Earth, um, we find that uh, just because the Earth is not perfectly round, we found that um, uh, the, at the equator, where the distance from the center of the Earth is a little bigger, the acceleration with the, the, with the one the, the acceleration of gravity that the objects fall with, with is 9.78 meters per second square, while on the poles it's 9.84 meters per second square, right? So all objects fall um, with an accelerated motion. Now, we decided to use the average of these values and uh, so we usually say that the objects fall with an acceleration of 9.8. From time to time, which is my favorite, I turn it into 10 just to make my life easier. But the correct number is 9.8. 9.81 actually, but we will use it as 9.8. Now, um, all objects fall in the same way. All objects fall in the same way. Now, in your real life, in the real life, in your life, your experience says that all objects don't fall in the same way. So if I have this and if I have a piece of paper, they're not going to fall, I'm trying to find a piece of paper. They're not going to fall in the same way. That um, the, right? They're not going to fall in the same way. The marker will fall faster, okay? And you're right. In real life, the heavier objects fall faster, but it's not because of gravity. It's because of, um, the air resistance affecting less because this world has air and every time something needs to move it needs to pull, push all the molecules behind like behind it so um, this piece of paper needs to push all these molecules again and again and again and again well this needs to put to push less right um, so one thing that affects the motions in real world is the shape. That's why we talk about the aerodynamic shape. Another thing is that um, when, when, when we want, um, uh, like, what do you think is um, easier? Is it for a grown up to go through a room full of kids or a kid moving in, in a room full of kids? Apparently, the, the grown-up, it will be easier for the grown-up just because he's bigger, right? We're not, right? So, um, what happens, what happens in real life is that a heavy, it is easier for a heavy object to push all these molecules and not be affected that much. So, it will fall um, without being affected that much while something lighter and with a big area will be affected by these air molecules, right? Now, this real life is called fall. We are going to talk about free fall. And we, when we talk about free fall, we mean free of any kind of resistances, air resistance, any kind of re resistance. Okay, free means as if it's happening in vacuum. And this is because um, 
you uh, having to find the air resistance is so much harder. Uh, so we simplify our lives. So we're going to talk about the free fall, meaning um, the, the, the fall in vacuum or else we consider that there's no air resistance, like air doesn't matter, right? So um, if there's no air, if it doesn't matter, all things fall in the same way. Now you can ask me, okay, but this is heavier. Why do you tell me that it will fall in the same way? Yes, it is heavier. It has more weight. Just like when I want to pull this and this, which is heavier. Okay. If I want to pull them in the same way, have them move in the same way, I'm not going to apply the same force. I will need to apply bigger force here, stronger force, so I make it move in the same way. So the earth pulls every molecule of us in a way that all molecules move in the same way. Apparently something with more molecules needs more force. So yes, this needs more force, so it moves in the same way. Again, all objects move in the same way, right? So in free fall, all objects fall in the same way. So this table shows us how the objects fall. All objects on Earth have the same acceleration, 9.8. And just because it's the same everywhere, we don't use the letter A for that exact acceleration. We use the letter, the lowercase g. Okay? So every time you see the g, it means the acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared. So the acceleration due to gravity g in meters per second squared is 9.8 downwards, all right? So I will consider the downwards direction negative. So if I just let an object fall, um, its uh, velocity will change by 9.8 every second. So it will be 9.8, 2 times 9.8, 3 times 9.8, and so forth. What about position. So let's say that it starts from position zero. So the average is 4.9. And it will, so after a second, it will be 4.9 meters um, lower than position zero. In the next second, it will be at position 19.6, which it happened I'm sarcastic, it didn't happen, that's the idea. This number is 4 times 4.9. Just like this is 9 times 4.9. And what is 2? It's 2 squared. What is 9? It's 3 squared. Right? So, and what does this have to do? It has to do with the formula that says that the position equals the initial plus any change due to the, horiz the, horiz the initial velocity plus half acceleration time squared. And in this case, is, uh, this case, I consider the initial position to be zero, the initial velocity to be zero. So what do I have? My I shouldn't say y, x anymore, I should say y or h because it's a vertical position. It will be half acceleration time squared. The half acceleration is the 4.9. The half of 9.8 is 4.9. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so forth. All right, so we see how these values are, and they are, remember, they are the same for all objects. So if two objects fall together, right, we let them fall, they have the same velocity, and they are at the same height as they go down. All right? 